a game, I believe it was a week or two ago, where they played off against Cloud9, and it was actually Abe, if I remember properly, was filling in for Luminosity at the time, too, and Abe was pulling some absolutely monster sprees with his frags, too, so he should be a pretty good addition for this team, and considering he does have a little bit of experience playing with at least part of this Luminosity roster, it could also help with kind of getting into the head of this team as well and trying to figure out what their strats are going to be. Yeah, definitely. And, and here's the thing. This is this is a match where, where Peter could actually come up huge because putting an op in these bathrooms are so many weird angles that an opper can take just to get one, you know, really quick sneaky kill and then fall back and reposition for a second one. There's just a lot of different ways that he can be utilized. So it'll be interesting to see how mobile he is, where they position him on different rounds uh, with that AWP. Yeah, I think we saw that just the other night with uh, Skadoodle in that Cloud9 match, basically, on Overpass. I think they were playing Liquid, he was pulling off some pretty crazy that's, stuff with his off. Yeah, that that's, game. that's a magical match, you don't get to see that every, every, we, we, every we night. We have some highlights on that, I think, up on the <laughs> yeah. YouTube channel, too. It was some pretty crazy stuff. That was sick. It was absolutely insane, so... All right, so as we uh, start to get our players ready, what's what's? I mean, I think I think it's it's pretty clear. But just to make it official, what's your uh, prediction? What do you think the score is going to be for this one? I think it's going to be a pretty big beatdown, to be honest with you. Um, I haven't seen I haven't seen a lot of good things. I have not seen a lot of good things out of uh, out of Davies Squad uh, Affinity. We have them listed as Synergy, I believe, but I think they got picked up by an Affinity organization that's they're tagged up as. And um, yeah, I haven't seen too many things that I really like out of them. I still think they do a lot of uh, a lot of individual plays, and, and sometimes I just don't. I haven't seen it work out too much. And Luminosity, uh, you know, despite losing or tying to Liquid and Siva earlier and losing last night, I think they're just kind of a couple steps ahead of ahead of this squad, and I think they're going to have a, a pretty easy beatdown here on Overpass. Yeah, and I think Overpass is another map as well where it does require you to play very heavily as a team. I don't think that, with, with the exception of like the op plays that you talked about, or I think it really does require you to have your team strategy set out very well, very good communication, and just overall very good execution of strategy. Otherwise, unfortunately, yep. things are just going to not work out too well for you and your squad, which again does toss a pretty big advantage into the hands of the guys on Luminosity because of that. Yeah, there are a lot of quick rotations on the CT side between these maps, but unfortunately when you get to each map, I mean, you're rotating at a choke points, and, and the way the executes come out and the way that uh, it's currently played, you usually have, you know, a smoke and maybe, you know, flashbangs coming from a, from a weird angle right in your face, so it takes a lot of communication to know where to rotate to, uh, what your teammates are watching, these bomb sites have a lot of different angles. Uh, so it, it takes that, that next level of communication, and that's an area where I think Luminosity, you know, in the short time that, that Pith has been here, he's, uh, he's really helped improve them uh, very quickly. Yeah, absolutely. So I think I'm going to join you on that prediction uh, in favor of Luminosity here, as we have talked about it now. Like I said, pretty big advantage in those guys, but we don't want to count out the guys on Synergy completely. We will be seeing what they are able to work with, as once again, we've got all 10 players in, which means we should be getting started here pretty shortly with this match. And we do have one more coming up after this one as well, guys. I believe it is going to be Elevate taking on Mouse Spaz. So after this map, be sure to stick around for that one, as it will also be an overpass game we'll be going to directly after this match has concluded. Heck yeah, good night of matches tonight. Wonderful yeah. night of matches. Definitely will be good will be another good test for Mouse Spaz there too as I think Elevate's been uh, Elevate's been very, very dominant too with some of their recent matches, not just here in ESCA but on land as well. So we're gonna see what Mouse Spaz is able to uh, pull off against those guys. Uh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, it's, no, it's it's no secret that I'm, I'm actually I'm actually really really high on Elevate in the North American scene at the moment, and uh, they had a really really good showing even without their their in game leader the other night. So I expect another uh, another dominant performance out of them here against Mouse Spaz. They've been uh, they've been kicking butt recently. They had what was those? They had some really close games against VP too, which is like a tier one EU team uh, over at Face It a little while back. So yeah, those that guys... was heartbreaking. I just wanted yeah. one map. I just wanted one map to be one. <laughs> That that sixteen fourteen on Nuke was brutal because Nuke is Nuke was uh, I mean it, it's 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 falling out of the rotation obviously but uh, it's a map that elevates very very good on so once it got to like fourteen fourteen I was just like so psyched I was I was at work and I was like finding excuses to like go out and and do something else and hide <laughs> behind a corner really quick and catch like catch a round and then do some work and then catch a round so. That was a tough one. It was so devastating on that game too because they started off so strong on T side on new too, which is that's the hard side to play and unfortunately it just didn't really go so well for them on CT side and they started to throw away the advantage they'd gained in the first half. Yeah, it was tough, but we'll get there. We'll get a map soon guys, no worries. <laughs> But anyway, folks, once again, like I said, all 10 players are in, just waiting for everybody to ready up, and we should be getting going with getting going. We should be we should be good to start with this match here once again, which is going to be between LG and the guys over here on now Affinity, I believe, that of Synergy now. Just waiting, and yeah, then we should be getting started pretty shortly. 
Yeah, and uh, Affinity's going to need to get need to get off to a hot start, which is which is going to be tough against Luminous. We said that you know they're very good at pissed rounds. It's it's helped them get, gain some leads early on in these matches, uh, especially with you know the new SMG meta with uh with how many with how much money you can make off of them. So winning that pissed around and mowing some people down with an SMG is just huge. It just gives you such an economical cushion uh, heading into the gun rounds. All right, though, we're finally getting going, guys. Taking a look at the knife round now. We'll see which team gets the start. If it goes into the hands of Luminosity, it's going to be a... Like, it's already going to be a rough match for Synergy, but it's going to get even rougher if they lose this knife round because they won't get CT start, and that is where LG, I think, is going to be an absolute monster in this game. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of chances here for LG players to, to just go in for a beatdown. But. Looks like the guys on Synergy. I think someone missed their knife shot there. It actually looks like... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Davey cleans it up, and there you go. Davey's going to clean things up in the knife round, and the guys on Affinity will actually get their side choice and should be able to start off CT here. If, assuming they pick CT, we should, but... Yeah, we'll see. And yeah, it's uh, you know, it's actually uh, they got some cool stuff coming up. They've got a team house, obviously that uh, that Anger and, and Pit are going to be in, uh, and then I believe Flam and Peter are going to move in, moving into later on. So they're going to have just a full blown team gaming house, a Luminosity Castle, and and uh, Castle, huh? <laughs> yeah, a Castle of sorts. The, the gaming castle, <laughs> the the nerd palace, the. Uh... Citadel of Geek. Anyway, though, we're finally getting started, guys, with LG taking the CT side here versus Affinity. Affinity is going to take on CT side here on Overpass. This is a best of one set here in the ESL ESCA Pro League. This is coming to the end of week number one here. Heavily favored for LG, but we'll see what they are able to do as the pistol round does get started. Guys on Luminosity looking like they're going to try to work their way into B. Peter as well making his way into Upper Park right now. See me, seeing if he is going to be able to catch anything there. Doesn't look like it, though, as once again, most of Affinity is playing around lower park and keeping that one player on B right now. Yeah, it looks like Affinity wants to play a retake at the B bomb site, but they don't have any kits to really uh, retake. They have a lot of nades though, so once this plant goes down, they're just going to come in and, and bombard the bomb site. And Lex comes in Abe though with that nice headshot, takes out Lex already at the start of this one. Davey as well is able to eliminate Pit, and now once again we are going to see these guys off to a great start here. Peter as well as Anger and Flom going to see what they can do. Anger's able to get a headshot kill over here on the Fox, but Jason R as well will return that as he takes out Anger. All down to Peter and Flom at this point. Now we'll see what they're able to work with. Flom is able to take out Abe down to a two versus two now as he's also able to eliminate Davey. Now they're going to try to pop on site here. Peter almost taking out Jason R is able to execute and finishes it off by taking out Aria LG with a beautiful recovery to a bit of a shaky start there ends up taking the pistol round and putting them into a good position here yeah that that sh that headshot by Abe to open things up you know gave gave affinity a lot of opportunities a lot more ground that they could work out coming out of that balcony uh and to overtake that bomb site so it was very nearly won by them it was a well executed retake which surprised me with no kit but they handled it well just peter and peter and flam there at the end getting a couple nice frags and ending it now we'll see as well here. LG looks like they are going to be moving up to the top, up to park here, working their way through Fountain at the moment. Probably going to see if they can make anything happen in the lower park. A couple guys going into the lower, lower tons here as well, but Fox is able to get Lex to start things off. Nicely shot by him here. Pit as well. We'll see. Nice shots by him. Takes out Fox. And immediately a one for one trade is going to happen just inside of Squeaky. Yeah, and a jumping scout over here along by Arya. He's not going to find anything, so he's going to fall off. And it does look like Luminosity. Still in the stairwell, kind of deciding where to go, sitting in between bomb sites. Pit nades himself on accident. And it does look like they're going to fall up the stairs and they're going to head over towards this A bomb site. They've got Jason R and, and that scout in Arya's hands to deal with. Very careful bathroom connector there, but now Peter's going to move through the restroom right now. Anger is able to take another frag. He takes out Jason, and unfortunately, the defense here from Affinity not going so well. Anger finds another headshot with his Galil as he takes out Arya. Peter going to go for possibly a quick play inside of the bank now, but actually has some second thoughts on that. He's just going to molly off the stairs here and sit right next to the base of the portcullis, see if he can catch anyone rushing up there. Not going to be the case, though. In fact, Affinity really doesn't want to play this at all. It seems they're just going to hang back. Davey still has, Davey still has a sniper, but again, not really too much going to be saved here, but I think that they're just going to go for that option. Two versus four, not going to be the best option for a retake, especially when the other team has Galil's as well as a sniper rifle for them too. Scout being picked up by Peter still, and overall I think they're just going to try to see the head armor on Abe and as well as the scout from Davey. Yeah, you use it for next round. No chance of a retake. Maybe find an exit kill onto a Galil or, or something and pick one up, but that scout especially, I mean, you save that, you get a couple nice shots and, and maybe you let some magic happen, so good call to save here from the remaining Affinity players. 
Now Luminosity takes that 2-0 lead that we weren't expecting here. Probably going to carry it over into the next round as well as still not a lot of ground being picked up here by Affinity just as of yet. Not really able to go for any purchases at all this time. Abe's just going to save his head armor. We are going to see another CZ picked up by Fox, but beyond that, Flash from Arya, and most of these guys are just going to be saving their money trying to see if they can take it into the next round here. And a fast, uh, three players going very aggressively fast towards B, and that's where, that's where uh, actually the scout actually pushed up middle, so Davey changes his position and kind of misses out on an opportunity a little bit. And Flom as well open things up by taking out Jason. Flom might be able to find a second one. Meanwhile, Pitt is able to take out Arya in the meantime here too. And Flom again still performing well. Takes out Fox. Not looking good for Affinity as all. Abe trying to hold behind the pillar right now. Does find one headshot but immediately taken out by Anger. And now all down to Davey. Looks like it's going to be another easy round for Luminosity here. Yeah, and interesting. They have this scout. <laughs> He's, he hasn't gotten into the action yet. There he is. He jumps and he tags Anger. But they had the scout and all their pistols fell so quickly one by one and, and you don't even let the scout try and work something but he does pick up anger so there's a, a good kill gonna force a rebuy oh he just scopes out didn't have a chance to go for a headshot there i'm trying to play aggressively though peter sees what's happening though and he connects his own shot on him bringing him down to 13 hp he is trapped really though could have headed up towards a but we'll decide against that and as you'll see pit along with peter of course getting that nice shot will be taking him out and again as we expected luminosity will take that 3-0 now and we'll see the first buy, I believe, coming out for Affinity now. Won't be too heavy, though, as it actually looks like they spent quite a bit of money. We're going to see two Famasas being brought up by these guys and some limited nades from some of the players that picked up uh, M4s. Yeah, no kits once again on the side of Affinity either. So going for a lot of utility and not a lot of kits. So we'll see how that works out for him. Arya has a Famas and head armor. The rest of them have rifles. Actually, Fox has a, has a Famas as well. So a little bit light on the arsenal. Affinity kind of injured by the by the buys they had in those first two rounds and Arya's in a very tough spot hiding in the smoke in the stairwell he's all alone there there's there's no backup for him whatsoever so he's in a he's in a live or die situation a, you know kill or be killed almost it's flashed here, and we're going to see the pop coming through there from Flom. Not going to work out so well as Arya makes quick work of him. Close quarters combat does play into his hand, so we will take him out. He'll probably be jumping out of squeaking in just a second, but meanwhile, we do have action happening on the site as Davey's able to take out Lex. Abe as well here, along with Davey, both heading out in pit right now. They did get a smoke into there, so the angles are going to get a bit awkward as now Anger returns the favor, taking out Davey. Jason R as well is able to get two frags as he takes out both Anger, Pit, as well as Peter. Beautiful shots from him. Cleans up the roster from LG and gives Affinity their comeback round now yeah very nicely done by affinity they played two players in the water pit and they used their nades you know what what little nades they had to to really hold them out from taking that bomb site so no one from luminosity able to aggress out of the bomb site and take it cleanly and they just sat back and waited for for their for their support to come in and that was all jason r coming into the balcony and, and like you said those nice three headshots just cleaned things up but now they, they switch things up so they have an op now on, on to, uh peter so we're gonna see what they do with this one Peter looks like in the rest of Luminosity as well, heading through the playground at the moment. They'll see if they can work their way into Upper Park here in just a few moments. Going to go for that peak now. Won't be finding anything just yet, but Fox does have a smoke to support him in case we see some aggressive play coming out from Luminosity. They're playing it slow. They've noted again here that there is definitely probably going to be something up happening in the park connector, which is going to be Fox hiding inside of that right now. Playing that aggressive angle to see if he's able to catch anyone, but still won't be happening for some time. Also, meanwhile, keep in mind that Flom as well is sneaking down inside of the lower tunnels at the moment. Could pop up through the connector and see if he's able to find anyone else, but as you'll see, Pitt has been able to start off this round. Very good for LG. Anger will continue that trend as he takes out Fox, Fox rather. and now we'll see Abe, Jason, R, and Davey be left to defend what is left here for Affinity. Yeah, it's going to be very tough. Losing two players like that, no even chance for rebuttal. They were playing just so, so alone, so far away from any of their teammates, and Luminosity takes advantage of it and they get those kills and they, they've cleaned that out so early on in the round now They have time to you know switch back towards B if they want and it's really gonna spread this affinity defaults with these smokes over at A They're still here. They're still trying to find their get the information to see if they're at A and It's all gonna be towards B and it's coming very very quickly. They're not slowing down They're gonna smoke off the choke points. And they're gonna get into this bomb site and get the bomb down very very quickly Davy as well here goes for the aggressive scouting action trying to see if he this, can I think this anything. is just a save. I think this yeah. is just a save to be honest with you Probably going to look like that now as they are heading back towards what appears to be T-spawn at this point. And especially with the route they're taking, definitely going to end up being a save. Just try to take. They picked up one AK that was Abe that was able to grab that. And the rest of them just going to save their M4s to take that into the sixth round. Luminosity will go on to a hunt, seems here, sending at the very least Lex out to see if he can find anyone. Davey will be waiting for him if he decides to pop out. 
But again, with the limited time on the clock, I don't think we'll actually see any action. Affinity should be able to hold on to what they have now. But Lex, in just a second here, here he comes. He's not able to really see anything, but Abe sounds him off. And I don't know if he's actually going to peek out. He does go for this thumb, though. Not checking that corner. And there you go. Jason Art takes him out. Affinity not going to be a total loss there. They are able to take Lex with them, but still at the end of the day, that's not too much loss for Luminosity. So a little bit of money here for Lex to rebuy. And of course, Luminosity will take the round anyway. Yeah, but the good thing is Affinity saved three, uh, I mean, the bad news is they lost the round, obviously, but, yeah. but the good news is they, they saved three guns, so they're able to drop some Fabuses over, so this is going to be another buy, another chance to get them back into this game, and that's that's just the power of when, you know, when you've lost the round, don't even go for it, don't even lose those uh, those extra guns you have, and they get another buy round out of that smart decision. A little bit of a boost coming out here from the guys on Affinity, they're going to play that bit of an outside bathroom boost there in lower park, trying to see if they catch you. What won't be happening though is again, Luminosity going heavy upper park and with four of their, apologies, three of their players pushing towards that. They're going to put one player in party right now, Lex, to see if he can catch anything with that, but again, won't really be happening. Flom, however, will make his way up through the connector possibly in just a second. He's a little bit cautious to do so, hoping that no one from Affinity catches them from behind here. And now you will see as well here, the guys on Affinity, they do get engaged at the lower entrance to A. They'll now start to fall back and actually get onto the A site as kind of the alarms start to go off and you'll see those extra Affinity players starting to move into the site to defend too. Yeah, and, and, and Luminosity knowing they're not going to be going up against an AWP, so they're able to take that long very, very easily and very confidently and just grouped up outside of these bathrooms ready to execute. Jason, I was in a great position for a pop flat. We saw, we saw Sean Gares play this spot the other day, or uh, just a couple nights ago, and he, he did it very, very effectively. So he's in a great spot when this execute comes in to flash some people out, but he's got one so close to him at long, and I don't think he's, I don't think he's ready for it. He's going to swing out. He's going to get taken out before he can do anything. And now we'll see Anger moving in. He gets not Jason R, but Fox as well here. Going for some blind spray inside of the bank to see if he can catch anyone. Not going to be able to find it, though. And the rest of Affinity now stuck on the B site. They have no way to get themselves to over here towards A. And again, it looks like they're just going to go for that save. Not even heading towards the site right now. Just heading back towards T-Spawn. Going to try and save what they have, unfortunately, as, again, 3 versus 5. Not any position at all to get back onto that site. They've got nothing to work with here once more. Yeah, great, great play from Luminosity. They, they took the map control and then they, they were so patient and they played it so silently that Affinity actually thought they were falling back to B. There were three players at A for so long uh, and then one eventually just rotated off thinking it was about that timing. So they get punished for that and now they're going to have to clear these things out and they take out Abe and now there's two in T-Spawn. Nowhere for him to go and they've just got to try and live and win these battles but Navy's eventually going to fall. So they try to save the weapons but Luminosity goes on the hunt with the powerful economy behind him and cleans everything out. Luminosity actually does not save Peter's off, however, so they are going to be losing that one, and Peter will have to rebuy. But beyond that, still Luminosity still pretty much dominating things here. A bit unfortunate too that it that it wasn't just Peter moving in, because had that have been the case, Affinity might have actually been able to steal that. But again, I think Peter and the rest of LG knew what they were doing, and at the end of the day, they still have that huge economical advantage in their favor here too. So nothing too much off of their chest, basically. Yeah, and look at this sack from the counter chairs coming down the stairs, and it's going to get spotted out by Peter, who just came down. He sees the first one, he sees the second one as well. So now he's just going to play it passively, wait for him to push up. He grabs one, one more is pushing, that's Arya. He gets sprayed down, but there's still so many more to deal with. Jason eventually takes him down, but the call is out. They plant the bomb at B. And nothing all left for Infinity to do again. Yep, already down to three players here for Affinity, and again, they don't really have any huge buys coming out. Two guys with P250s, Fox has been able to grab an AK, probably up Peter, but beyond that, again, just nothing to work with here, as they've unfortunately been really out of position with these site takes on Luminosity, finding themselves in numerous unfortunate situations here over the past few rounds. I don't know, Davey's trying to do a little bit of an ninja play. He does take out Lex, gonna go for another one, trying to damage economy. He does find Fit, but he can't connect with the shot. Now he's just going to blow up with the bomb, going to try and find some magical corner to survive in. But it's not going to happen. He's just going to blow up and ragdoll into the sewers. So, sixth round for Luminosity, starting to run away with it. Absolutely. 6-1 now. Huge lead for these guys and the economy as well. Even after the buys coming out here from Luminosity, still with two guys. Actually, nope, it's going to get reduced there a little bit as Flum picks up and out for Peter. But beyond that, again, still at least one player sitting at above 10k and beyond that, numerous guys sitting above 5k right now. So Luminosity just rolling in the money. Meanwhile, Infinity is kind of begging for scraps here, trying to see if they can really get anything to happen as they're now five rounds down and have re not really been able to execute too many frags here as well. Not a lot of luck versus Luminosity at all so now once again as we get back into it Pit's gonna push through finds a beautiful headshot on a fox here to start things off but Jason R with that pushed up position takes out Pit immediately a one for one trade and Affinity will actually take the advantage as Aria with that op takes out Peter Anger though quick to return takes out Nar down to another two versus three now as we'll also see Davey taking out Lex and for the first time in quite a bit Affinity does have the man advantage at the start of the round here 
Yeah, but so spread out are these last three players, so it's going to be up to Arya to win this battle. Flom takes him. So down to a two on two. It's equalized. The big, the big thing that's going on, they're split up so much right now, but Davy's on this massive flank, and he's going to play a huge role in how this works out. And obviously, Luminosity can't know this, but if they just go down the stairs and go to B, it's pretty much game over. It's a, pretty much an open path from that point forward. They're still a little bit cautious, though, and they are kind of looking at that right now, trying to decide if that's the best case. They actually, it looks like they Davey's think that da Davy's behind them, but, or, or Davy is down that connector, but as you just said there, yeah, here comes Davy right now. Oh, he's playing very patiently, though. Not going to want to take a chance on not being able to connect on that second player. Moving through, LG's moving a little bit too quickly, though, but he's got an angle on two. It screws up the fray a little bit there, but he's able to take out the first player. Actually doesn't connect the second kill, though, as we are going to see Anger taking out Davy. He's lost a lot of health down to four HP, so it's going to be Anger versus Abe right now. They have no information as to where Abe is. They know he's on the site somewhere, but they have no idea where he's actually at here. And with only 10 seconds left on the clock, it's all up to Anger now to make something happen. Pushing on right now very slowly, but there you have it. Abe with that easy shot to take out Anger. Only one bullet required, and Affinity are finally going to get another round for themselves. Yeah, now, now the key is, you know, they win that round, their economy is still so destroyed, bringing that down to just one player, so the key now is obviously you got to string them together. If you don't string them together here, you're, about, you're, in, you're in for a rough rest of the half. It looks like again there, as you just say that, we see those, we see the kind of scattered pickups coming out from Affinity. Three players forced to go with Hamas's because of the reduced money that they still have, even after taking a victory there. Luminosity still sitting at full buyout right now as they've had no trouble with that. Not going to be worrying too much about one loss here. But now as they work their way through this, Peter is almost going to go down to this Molotov. Pit is able to take out Arya, but immediately Abe gets not one, one but two frags. Lex and Flom, however, able to take it back into the favor for LG. But at the same time, Abe is going to try to even things up. Gets caught while reloading there, so Flom's going to take him down. And now off to Jason R to hold off this defense, as he is going to be sneaking down right now, trying to see if he can make any sort of re-entry to get control of that site back for his team. Yeah, and he, he has no kit, so he's got to take this one fast. He's trying to jump over and find any kind of information. He's not going to see anything. But here he comes, trying to circle around these boxes, blinded by that flash from Flom inside the bomb site. Flom's holding this angle. He's going to find him, but Anger and Flom... Watching the same angle, and they spray him down. So seventh round for Luminosity, and the economy for Affinity is now broken, and they're going to be forced onto another save. It might even have to be a, a double save if they want to afford their guns. But, I mean, after this round, they're at that point where they, they gotta they got to start winning rounds more than they need to save. So it's, it's going to be very, very tough. And actually, we're seeing here a little bit of a force buy out of them. They have armor, CZ, and armor and pistols. Might try to go for some aggression here at this the very, very least. Yeah, this is a very interesting buy. Looks like right now, and they're not really trying to do anything crazy. The only person that's going to be Fox, but that's still a fairly normal position to take here. It does get mollied off, and he, oh my goodness, he jumps inside of that there. Reduced down to 34 HP. Not the best start of the round here for Affinity, as Fox is brought down so low. Flom as well is going to push up. Meanwhile, elsewhere on the map, they are going to see a one-for-one -one trade there, but Fox as well is able to take out Flom as he tries to sneak through to get out of Squeaky. Not going to be happening. And we're now down to a three versus five, currently in the favor of Affinity, but again, Affinity very spread out at the moment, whereas most of Luminosity is together, getting ready to push towards the site here. Pit, however, might find some trouble in a second. Abe hiding in this corner. Super patient, but he does see him. Abe, what are you doing there? Pit kicks him out. And now, once again here, the guys on Luminosity have tied up the score. Three for three. And in just a second, they're going to be able to find their way onto the A site with only one defender from Affinity. Yeah, Fox is on a huge flank, though, and he's going to go long. So Jason R just needs to hold this off and survive as long as he can as this flank comes in. But he's under so much pressure from Pit at the moment. He's going to take him out. Fox still hasn't been able to find anything. He's not even going to risk the shot. He's going to get a little bit closer. And he's just telling Davey at the moment to wait behind the smoke. Let him make a play. Peter's going to come right back at him. And he's not looking. So it's going to be at least one free kill for Fox. It's all up to how Luminosity is able to respond. Actually plays it so smart. He grabs two of them. That's huge. It's all down to Anger in a one-on-two hiding in bathrooms. The plan is for him. They're going to smoke it off, though. Anger's gonna, just going to have to go for this one. It's smoked off. Catches Davey, though. Knows exactly where he's at, but Fox comes in for the support. Takes him out. And Affinity, nicely done there. Beautifully executed. And a great sneak coming out there from Davey to just come up right behind Luminosity. Take out the defenders on site. And once again, be able to give them the room that they needed to defuse that bomb. And again, get another round on the scoreboard for them. Yeah, and a four kill for Fanarico. So, so huge plays from him were made. And now they now they don't even have to worry about building up the economy necessarily because they, they just stole all the guns. So uh, they do still have three players who are very, very low, so they do need to string them together. But to have those, that, a free AWP, a bunch of free AKs, I mean, that's that's very nice for them. Yeah, definitely. And then we'll see here, too. Again, Luminosity, though, still. The only person that wasn't able to pick up a gun this round is going to be Pyth as he just grabs a, uh, he's got grab that, a Deagle instead. He's got that Deagle, though, and that thing was deadly last night. 
Let's go and see if he's got any Deagle magic for himself here to work with as once again Luminosity going with the huge big squad here but you'll take a second here. Affinity also has two grouped up in Upper Park. It's going to get aggressive in a second. Thankfully Luminosity does not decide to push into that but in a moment here we will have to see those guys sneaking back. You will note however keep in mind for later that Fox is actually just outside. It's heading into party right now so we could have essentially exactly what we had happen in the last round happen again if LG's not paying attention to those alternate angles and we do see a one for one trade to start things off here. Lex takes out Davey. Jason R takes out Pith and once again Jason R is also able to take out Flum. Anger as well here. He's exposed right now but he is able to turn around. Not going to be enough though. Peter is going to be able to take out Jason R down to a two versus one in the favor of Affinity and Affinity in just a second will be ready to jump onto this site and surround Peter. It's going to be such a hard situation for Peter to work with right now and he's actually moved down into the back of A. A little bit of trouble there but he does take out Arya and now it's him versus Fox and Peter's got only four HP. The smoke is going to go off over the bomb here too and he's running out of time but as you'll see Peter recovers that one. Takes down Fox and gives Luminosity Gaming another round. Yeah, great clutch by Peter. Even dinked down to 10 HP in that final one versus one. And they were they were very smart. They were very aware. They're taking up a bomb site. They they find no resistance. So they've got to know there's been a push somewhere else. A push outside of that A bomb site from Long Lex picks up a flanker who was trying to push a little bit too aggressively. Jason R makes a little bit of a play with two kills, but eventually he goes down and, and Peter with the fantastic clutch. Now we'll see as well. LG still rolling as that big five-man squad. Not a lot of splits coming out from these here. As you do see them now, they are just going to push right into the B site. No hesitation at all. Only that flash going over. It hits Abe head on, though. And they are going to smoke behind him as well to be safe. As you'll see, Abe gets absolutely surrounded there by the LG roster. Davey as well is trying to hide out here behind Sandbags at the moment. He'll take Flom with it before Lex finally eliminates him. Lex, however, able to pick up both Davey as well as Jason R, who's hiding out here in water. And now you'll see as well, Peter clean things up. Take out, takes out Fox. And now all up to Ari, and unfortunately with only that P250 to work with, he is going to take Lex with him, but the odds of him actually taking back the site and defusing are going to be very low, if not impossible, as Slim Peter eliminates none. him with that up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Slim to none. So 9-3 to three for Luminosity, playing very, very strong at the moment. Infinity, they bought with less last time, and they're at, they're at that point where they, they need, they've got to win these rounds, so Fox picks up the AWP, he's going to drop it over to Davey. He'll probably more than likely get a Famas, at least for a show of Colt, so... We do see an SMG on the on the back of Davy's hands. Arya actually grabs the op, so a broken buy here for Affinity in a crucial round. Now once again here, Luminosity are going to try for a little bit of a split, see if they can make anything happen with that. Two of their guys heading through lower tons right now, back over here towards Connector. They might be able to find, I believe it's going to be Arya working his way through there, but Arya again playing very, very defensively considering how previous rounds have went when he's decided to challenge people over here. He's going to decide to fall back and play with the rest of his teammates. Luminosity, though, grouping up right now, getting ready to push in towards B here. A lot of grenades getting tossed into that site, but no movement just as of it. You will note, however, there is going to be this boost coming out from these guys, trying to see if they can catch anyone just up on top of that, but really, again, not going to be able to catch anything, just not really working into the plans of Luminosity right now. And they are going to probably just go directly for a site take in just a few moments as they're getting ready to set up nades now. Yeah, and the rotation between these sets are so quick, but really no one's there to support this B bomb site early on. And Davy grabs two with the SMG, tries to drop his gun for another, but can't do it. It is down to a three on three. That's going to leave the B bomb site in a free plant for the remaining Luminosity members. And it's going to be all on this retake. And Fox still hasn't started flanking yet. Fox hanging way back here just now is going to decide to work his way down through the steps in a connector and see if he can catch anything, but already his teammates are trying to get onto the site. Flom has been able to connect an off shot onto Ari here. Jason Arlo returned the favor by taking out Lex. Two versus two, but Fox finally arriving now exactly when he's needed, and as well with Jason R taking out the last player, Anger. Affinity with a very nice retake there are going to be able to take this round. Yeah, very, very good clutch and a good hold by Davey getting those two frags. If he doesn't get those, they just lose the round. So nicely done by him getting aggressive when he's needed to with the SMG spraying down two. And then those flanks coming into play. And this is something that, you know, Affinity, this, that they're, they're giving themselves this opportunity to flank a lot because they've really leaned heavily on playing uh, players over towards long and even pushing up maybe halfway up it and playing in bathrooms. So that's kind of what it affords you when you play like that and a team goes heavy B, you have the opportunity for those very, very fast rotations. Yeah, absolutely. And Fox's kind of late rotation actually worked out really well for those guys as LG, again, really did not expect him to pop up there at all. And that combined with a quick execution from Jason R to take out the last remaining member there from Luminosity, or Luminosity rather, made it a very quick retake. So that was actually pretty well played there with him holding back and kind of going for the late rotate. Now we'll see, however, as we head into the 14th, Jason R holding off this position. Fox as well gets himself into play. Immediately we see Flom and Pith being lost here now. Anger as well as got himself onto the site with the bomb, but very quickly rotating in is going to be Abe. And in just a second, the rest will arrive here too. However, Peter was able to take out Jason R. And now we'll have to see what they can work with as it looks like Affinity might go for a bit of a quicker retake here as Luminosity had to go for a bit of a rush plan. Yeah, and they did that because they knew there were two players long. Now Lex has got to be very careful. He's coming in, but he gets a little bit 
a little bit discombobulated, I guess, and it's taken down. So it's just Anger playing behind a smoke. He's going to find one, but he gets sprayed down by Fox. And a nice recovery by Affinity, but a smart choice by Luminosity. They spot two players long, even though they lose two, they just bum rush into the site and get the bomb planted. That's their only hope. They pretty much get a free site, and they got to trust the retake, and they almost make it work. But Affinity with a couple good retakes here in the past few rounds. Affinity starting to bring it back here towards the end of our first half. Obviously, again, Luminosity with not too much to worry about as they've already managed to take nine rounds. Uh, we had a similar situation in our last game there. Pretty much anything else at this point is just the icing on the cake for Luminosity. But still, Affinity bringing it back now. This is uh, going to be a bit of, a very good confidence boost for them as they switch over to T-side and as we get very close to starting that second half. Oh, Lex. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see it, I just heard it, but a nice He was kill. partially flashed there, too. Yeah, I watched that happen. Got flashed the second he pulled the trigger there. But it's going to work. However, now he's going to get cornered a little bit there. And we will see the rest of LG. They're going to make their way in. They've already taken out Davey as well. Ari and Davey both down that, right now. That was a very smart kill by Anger because they, they heard Davey push up towards Long to try and take Lex out. So all Anger had to do was wait for him to fall back and... You can see Lex just kind of stopped being aggressive and let it happen, and now they're going to have to do another retake, but another big flight coming in from Fox, and L Luminosity reads it. Peter smokes off the sewers, so this is going to be very tough for him, trying to flash his way through it. He comes through, he blinds Peter, sprays him down, but Lex with another D. Lex coming up huge with that pistol. Now down to a four versus two at this point. Affinity's still going for it, though. Jason's been able to take out Flom. Anger takes out Abe, though, and again, with just Jason alive, he's going to try to find a way in, but there isn't really going to be one. LG, Anger takes out Jason, and we will see the guys on Luminosity taking that first half. Yeah, fantastic round by Lex. Two, two great Deagle headshots there. Not only that, but like I said, that smart play by Anger, and then they set up in a great crossfire to defend the retake. And they're going to grab 10 on their T side, so Ooh, we've seen this map played uh you know between that match with uh, cloud nine and liquid that, that came down to the end where, where scoodle was just phenomenal it was a very ct sided map it was 12-3 for the counter terrace in both ways so uh it's known to be a ct sided map so luminosity having a huge head start here in this match yeah, absolutely. It's going to be very big for them, and especially switching over to CT side, which is arguably their better side, too, based on the stats we have currently. It's going to be very rough indeed for Affinity to try and make themselves pull back into this and potentially have any chance of taking this match right now. Yeah, they, they had a tough time in that first half. Luminosity just did a great job of... of um... Even when they dropped around, they won the next one. So, so the, the economy for Affinity never really got going. It never got stabilized. So they were constantly under this pressure of, of continuing to lose rounds and watch the scoreboard spread out, uh, but not having the money to buy and, and get the arsenal they needed to really make a good stand. Yeah, absolutely. And now, once again here, we should be getting started with the second half in just a second, guys. Just waiting for our players to ready up. And then we'll be getting going once again. For those of you that are just joining us, this is the ESL ESCA Pro League. It's currently Luminosity Gaming versus Affinity with LG leading us at the moment. It managed to take 10 rounds on their T-side here on Overpass, whereas Affinity was only able to take 5. And now that we've switched, we're going to see just what Affinity is able to do to bring it back into their favor as the second half is getting started right now. And this is huge because Luminosity is a team, like we said beforehand, they're, they're really good on pistols, 10 of 14 and then 5 of 6 on their CT side, or, or 6 of 7 on their CT side. So they're a fantastic CT pistol team. And uh, Affinity's really got to get off to a hot start here, and they can't let Luminosity win this pistol uh, if they want to get this comeback going. And to start things off here, split from Affinity, but look at the big aggression coming out here from the guys on LG right now. Smoke is going to block them off, but they have tried to make their way down through the connector. They're going to open up the door, but, oh, this could be a huge surprise here from Peter. Jumps over the smoke, pops open the door. They're going to hear that, though, as Fox turns back around. They'll duel it out, and Fox will actually win the duel there versus Peter. And Affinity will start off well. Flom getting hit all over the place here, too, as Affinity works their way into the side through Canal right now. They're trying to take out Pit, but having some trouble connecting those shots. Jason R is able to get a headshot and elect to take him down. Currently down to just two members from Luminosity, and down goes Flom, all up to Anger, he's down to a 1 versus 2, however, not completely lost just as of yet, and they don't have the bomb down just as of yet here either. As you'll see here, Anger's going to try to go for this retake, a lot of damage on the Davy right now, but again, not able to find a way into that site just as of yet. And you'll see here, too, that safe rotate still coming out from Jason R. He's going to actually move up and plant towards A just in case things go badly here. Nice shot from Davy there to clean things up at the end, and... Pit surviving for so long almost bailed him out of that round because he delayed them getting into the bomb site for so long. Lex hit a nice shot, but 
Affinity just eventually, with that opening kill, they just they just bullied their way into that site. It was a fight the whole way, and they, they eventually just traded out for the win. So nicely done by them. They grabbed their six, and that gives them a window of opportunity. But that, now they've got to deal with the Deagles of Luminosity. Three Deagles on their side, uh, and even a scout onto Peter. And that was a scout that was dropped to him, because he has full armor. So they, they don't want him to have to worry about any kind of aim punch. And you'll see he's immediately with that one. One-two punch headshot there coming out onto Abe. Eliminates the strong roster here from Affinity as Abe is taken down. It's going to be a big loss for those guys now too. And immediately this puts a stop to their plans as they've slowed down. They were heading into high gear there to break their way into the playground and maybe an upper park. But as you'll see now, they're playing it much, much slower as they have lost a member to that very quick peek from Peter. Yeah, good opening so far. And now they even, they even have Peter spotting towards long, which is where the bomb's going. So they're going to go right at him again and... They're actually going to head into the bathroom, so they are going to avoid him a little. There's one player, goes for the jump. Peter guesses it. Oh! Arya punishes him. What a shot from Arya. The, the jump scout. shots, absolutely beautiful shot there from Arya. Evens things out and takes out the very important op roll there. Of course, still running with the scout for now, but Lex, as you'll see, though, will pick it up nice and easy. A nice connection there to his manage to tag down Fox. We'll take him out. Elsewhere on the map, too, Davey was able to eliminate Flum, and we still have the guys on Affinity in a pretty good lead. Davey gets it a second kill there, takes out Pith, and now it's all up to Lex and Anger again to try and hold off this A site and prevent them from winning the round. But there you go, Anger just goes for that super aggressive rush. We'll see Lex actually going to get killed in a Fox, but again, Bomb is down. He's got a one versus three and currently only has that scout to work with here. He's going to duel against Arya. He will lose and Affinity will take another round. And that was, that was, that was crucial. It would just be gut-wrenching when you're trying to make a comeback to, to win the pistol and lose that second one. So I see down by them opened up by a good shot from Arya. That was a very dangerous situation because if Peter gets going to that scout, grabs one more kill, those deagles then come into play so very much. So he was able to even things out and allow Affinity a little bit more space to work with and find a gap over at B. So they've got to do much the same here again, and it's a very much light, lighter buy out of Luminosity, but they are heading in towards the stack. Three players pushing up long very quickly. Here come the flashes. They're all so incredibly blind. Affinity's got to take advantage of this. They don't get there quite in time, so they do eliminate two players pushing up mid and eventually just mow down this stack. Peter does get one, but... Uh, not really too much damage done there, so nicely done by Affinity. Yeah, Luminosity just trying to go for the aggressive play and unfortunately not work out well at all. That big flash stops them from really doing too much, and Affinity just kind of spray them down as unfortunately Luminosity really only rolling with those pistols there. Not much that they were going to be able to do unless they had those clutch headshots coming off. And an AWP on Peter, it's Glass Cannon, so he's going to have to be very careful on how he's positioned against nades and, and, and even just the aim punch of getting, of getting hit by any kind of bullet. It looks like he's going to push up aggressively towards Fountain, go for a quick shot, and he gets hit by a nade, and that's just his signal to fall off. He flashes over to cover his retreat, and he's going to get boosted up on Lax. They did this uh, on that save round as well, so I would look for them to continue to do this throughout the half. Fox is actually looking for it. He's got a boost of his own to look for any kind of a push into the bathrooms, but neither of them quite spotting yet. As you'll see here too, they are going to decide to try and work their way through a party right now, trying to avoid that door by any means necessary. Also careful of someone popping out side of what's going to be happening here too. But as you'll see, Jason's able to sneak through. Peter though takes down Fox, is able to find one frag with that boost. Very well done by the guys on LG. And now once again here, Jason is kind of stuck in the bathroom connector to Upper Park right now, trying to decide what will be the best best path for him and the rest of his teammates to take. Yeah, it's hard because they were all split up at the time, so there, there's really no no way for them to respond. Uh, you know, it was, it was four players, just one, 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 one across the map, so there's really no way for them to do any kind of intelligent response to losing a player like that. You see, and then there's Davey going down, just just himself, no chance for a trade. So it, just now they're putting themselves in more and more of a deficit, finally grouping up a little bit in these stairwells, and it looks like they're going to have to go towards A because that's where their other that's where their opera is. Arya, he's got to find an opening for him now, but the rotation is in full effect. Four players at A. And here comes Arya now. He's just going to roll in here through Upper Park right now, trying to see if he can catch anyone that's coming out of the bank. There's one player primed there, but unfortunately not going to be able to really find anything because of yet. Lex again takes out Jason. Our Abe gets that shot, but we will see Arya perform. Tries to go for the quick stop on the pistol. Fails on that one, though. And LG will clean up the rest of it there. Finally getting a round for themselves here as we get to that first wife round. And once again, resuming their lead at an 11-8 score at the moment. Yeah, nicely done by Luminosity. Getting those picks and then reading the situation perfectly, having four players today when the hit came in, so... Manage that very well, put them up 11 to 8. And another crucial round for Affinity, just for their economical purpose. They, I mean, they really haven't been able to get this money this money going at all this match, so... They have they have Luminosity in a pretty pretty tough money situation themselves, so if they're able to win this and force a save, they're, they're going to be able to even things up. So a very crucial round for both teams here. 
Affinity, though, going for that split, and we were talking about this earlier, this really has not been working out so well for them. So if they've made adjustments and they're able to make this work this time, I mean, it could be great, but based on history so far, this could potentially be very dangerous if their opening frags do not really come off there, and if LG is able to connect the first shots there to keep the Affinity roster split up. We are going to see, however, again, those two players pushing into party to see if they can find anything. Lex, along with Peter. Peter keeping his eyes on Upper Park, but will soon shift his vision now as we do see that smoke coming off. The rest of Affinity, though, they are not even going to play park. They're rotating down through the connector right now and the entire roster will soon be grouping up for a solidified b push yeah and anger is going to be in a tough spot he's going to flash off the catwalk he looks like he wants to get a little bit aggressive he's going to wait for a flash from his teammate to do it but here comes the execution now he's forced to fall back there's the pop flash and now he's swinging up doesn't see anyone quite yet he's stuck in no man's and they line up for him he sprays down two nicely done by him runs out of the fire swings back gets one more out of long he's got a teammate fight hiding behind the barrels peter chimes in from above in the balcony and flan cleans it up so a great hold for manger python peter and Anger there too was uh, playing that very, very aggressive position, was still able to take three frags with him. Amazing he survived that long there, just Affinity not really able to find the connection on any of those angles, and again, really let Anger basically let himself loose there on that round. Yeah, it, it was really good, because he, uh, he, it was kind of a scary situation. He looked like he wanted to get aggressive and then kind of fell back. He waited for the pop flash, and then they just lined up for him, and he cleans everything up, so a solid defense. That forces Affinity onto a save, so another opportunity where they're just going to give a round away, and that helps Peter. He gets the opening pick, and he's able to fall off. He's in some flashbangs. Lex bails him out of a tough spot. He stays there, gets Davy jump through his smoke, and even Lex, they're just trading kills here. It's all down to Jason R. very, very quickly. Anger joins this one as well to put even more pressure on Jason at this point. Jason getting a little bit of damage on him with that frag, but again, nothing with him, nothing for him to work with here. Stuck in between these, basically these two entryways, and yeah, it was going to be forced to pop out eventually, and it does play into the favor of LG as Lex cleans it up once again. Lex and Peter very good at holding the lower park there that time around. We'll say get another round to put Illuminosity Gaming just three rounds away from winning this match. Yeah, Luminosity looking very good. Lex and Peter have obviously put some time into how they want to defend that bomb site. There's been a couple rounds now where they get aggressive and they have the very coordinated fallback strategy. So looking very good working together are those two. Now this time around, Affinity going to go again. 3-2 split. Looks like they are going to push two of their guys down inside of the lower tons right now, seeing if they can try to get a quick play, maybe try to work the double angle on B right now. But Anger as well is popping through. This Oh, this could be bad for Anger right now. But he's going to peek. Unfortunately, goes for that turn around, and Arya gets an easy kill onto him as he tries to play aggressively there and is punished very heavily. Lax, however, sneaking up behind these guys right now. If the play inside of the B side is not quick enough, this could potentially get punished really hard. In fact, it's going to come out. But however, Fox is defending. Jason R is also able to take out a pipe pit there as well. And we'll also see him get a kill onto Flom as well, absolutely destroying the Luminosity Gaming roster, leaving it all to Peter, and it doesn't look like Peter's going to want to challenge this one either, as he does have that op, and unfortunately it does not really have a lot of intel or really any angles at all to work with in this one versus four. Yeah, Anger gets lured a little bit into trying to find that, uh, get to the other side of those sewers by smoke, but there was a crack in it that he couldn't see at the time, so he gets killed, and then just some great entry frags from Jason R coming coming up the, the short there, up that catwalk into that B bomb site, and just Blows up the site, so Peter's forced to save the AWP. He hasn't even really taken a shot, hasn't seen any action whatsoever. Does manage to find a connection on the Davy, but beyond that, it looks like he's not going to want to risk that. He just ends up smoking it off. Might try to go for just a blind shot here, but again, we'll end up holding back just to save that up. And that's going to be good, of course. They'll be able to carry that into the next round, but that is still also going to be another round going into the hand of Affinity here as they will once again be able to resume their buys after that victory. Yeah, and critically as well, they survived with four players alive. So they don't have to, uh, they, they build up a little bit of bank behind it. So if they do happen to, you know, lose this round, they're going to be able to buy again and give themselves a good shot at preventing a map point. And here's that boost again from Lex and Peter. They're doing the same thing, breaking the windows over towards the bathrooms, and he's going to find that awkward angle and see if anyone walks into the crosshair. Ari as well here, primed to go for a little bit of aggression, possibly in towards the B site. Probably not going to actually happen. Might be trying to line up here for a fake as the rest of Affinity right now, hiding outside of the upper tons, or just inside the upper tons rather, will probably try to go for a quick play. It's interesting that they're hiding out like sort of so far back right now, just so close to their spawn, really not wanting to peek out at all, unfortunately. But it seems that the bit of a bait here has actually worked on the end of this fake. As you'll see, a couple of rotations coming out from LG. They do end up going for a D stack there as they end up moving at least Peter back over here onto the A site. He's going to keep his vision solidified on Upper Park for the time being. But Affinity again here, super duper slow play as they're still trying to decide what they actually want to do here. Yeah, and some great spam coming in from Anger and Arya. They're, they got each other down to 30. That nade almost takes out Arya down to 8 HP. That hurts. 
And in just a second here, the guys on Affinity will have to make something happen. Lex inside of the bathrooms right now. Doesn't really have a corner. He's got his nail at the moment. When this goes in, oh, plays that very aggressively, but it works out. Goes to the big frag kill here as well. It doesn't really connect too much, but as you see him popping out, gets a one for one trade as Fox will take him down. But the rest of Affinity now trying to come out of the site right now. Fox blind spraying won't be able to find any shots on Peter, but the same thing will be said for Peter as now we'll see the returns coming up. Blom takes out Fox. Peter takes out Abe. Pit in the meantime is going to take on Aria, and it's all up to Davey now. Looks like LG should be able to clean things up nice and easy. And there you have it, guys. Now, Luminosity Gaming will take that round. 14-9, only two more rounds away from claiming victory. Yeah, Lex and Peter both both get their, their smokes and their Molotovs respectively off at, at the exact right times. Lex just trying to fall back. It bails him out a little bit. The fact that he even got one kill is actually kind of amazing to me uh, in such a scary spot. I mean, he had no chance of falling back, so getting that one kill was huge. But then Peter also throws that molly down, and it isolates one player trying to cross over. Uh, the rest of his teammates had to stop and wait behind the fire. And that gives Peter the time he needs to just switch back and forth around those boxes and find the kills. So nicely done by him. Yeah, definitely. And of course, Luminosity Gaming at a pretty big advantage right now. Affinity, not much money left to bring anything out here. We are going to see an AK brought out by A, but beyond that, if they do decide to go for by Fox, can probably pick up something. Ask him Dave if he wants to, but if we see a broken buy from these guys, it's really going to be like that last resort for these ones. As Again, if they lose this one, it's pretty much all over, and LG just have a swift cleanup. Even if we do see Affinity take this one, uh, based on what we have out right now, I believe LG should still be in a kind of okay position heading into the next round. Might be a little bit rough for some of their players, but overall here, LG still in a very, very safe position at the moment. Yeah, they're feeling good, and more importantly, they're, they're forcing a buy here. Uh, you see Abe's already bought up an AK and armor. He's got no nades to work with. The rest of them, I mean, Fox and Davey will be pretty good off, but Jason R is only going to be able to have a pistol in his hand, so, and Arya with that scout. I mean, it's a very, very tough buy, tough tough rest of the road for Affinity as they try and try and continue to make this happen. Yeah, indeed, and I think Affinity right now just trying to think through their minds, what could we possibly do at this point? We're so far behind, we've got to make something happen here. They've been able to make some magic happen, definitely at the beginning at least of this first half here, pulling off those three rounds at the beginning, but after that one, unfortunately, it went downhill very quickly as Luminosity was able to get their full arsenal out. Well, you know, it was that whole bathroom control thing that I talked about before the map stood and one thing they haven't been able to do is they've just been getting ruined by by uh, Peter and Lex, who have played that bathroom so, so very well on this CT half. So even if they do manage to clean it out and push them back, they're usually, you know, at a man or two disadvantage by the time it happens, and it's just not cost-effective. And so it's really, really making it tough for them to find any success over at the A bomb site. And they've been really favoring A2, even despite the failures that you were talking about earlier there with uh, the guys on Luminosity, specifically Lex and Peter playing it so well down over there towards the bathrooms. They just haven't seen a lot of B play. And actually, I think the B play was actually what let them take a lot of those first three rounds. But after that, they've really been favoring A. And unfortunately, I think that that choice has been costing them quite a bit as, again, they just really have been struggling to get themselves onto the site to begin with instead of possibly going for B a couple rounds. Yeah, it's it's just tough because the way because of how successful Lex and Peter have been, it allows that third player in A to play very, very far back uh, and either just play spot on long or you know spot towards the bathrooms and he's got a very quick rotate by how passively he can play it trusting those two players so oftentimes when the hit comes into B I mean first of all we saw how anger just decimated the last the, the last B attack that they took but even outside of that when they've had a little bit more success a rotation for that third player comes in very quickly or he's just flat out already there and stacked it so uh, luminosity showing a lot of good defensive looks here with how they're rotating between the bomb sites. Yeah, and unfortunately, with the guys here on Luminosity not really having, or probably with the guys here on Affinity not having too good of a time being able to break through that defense, we are still seeing a very dominating second half here now for Luminosity after we got through those first first three rounds here now, after Affinity was able to start it off strong, but unfortunately, again, just haven't really been able to connect things, and with the already very impressive first half coming out from LG there, they're looking like they'll probably be taking this game pretty shortly. Yeah, looking looking very good for them. They're they're sitting very pretty at the moment. So I think, by the way, guys, we are just waiting on someone to reconnect from Affinity in case you weren't able to catch that from the in-game screen. I think I just saw one Mario the... join. So yeah, one of the uh, one of the players' PC crashed, so he's rebooting it and he'll be right in. Oh, okay. All right, so That'll we'll get be him in. Fox. Yep. So we'll be getting him in pretty shortly, guys, and then we shall be resuming with this game. But again, don't forget, it's not the only match we have for you this evening. Coming up after this one, it is going to be our third and final match for tonight. Elevate taking on Mouse Spaz. Elevate a very, very strong team at the moment. Taking on Mouse Spaz. Mouse Spaz still trying to prove themselves a little bit here, so be sure to check out for that one as it'll be coming up immediately after this game has finished. Mm -hmm. that'll, be, uh, that'll be a cool matchup, too. 
It'll be uh, I'm trying. What map is that on? Do we know? That's an overpass as well. That's an overpass as well. Yeah, I believe so. Based on what I have in front of me, anyway. <laughs> yes, it is. That'll be cool. Uh, I like seeing these overpass matches. It's because you know the, the real issue is. We, I mean, we talk about all, all these NA shuffles pretty much after every every ESCA land. There, there's a roster shuffle, and that's pretty much you know every season. It's kind of overpass is always the last that a team looks at. Really, you know, no one feels comfortable playing on it. And um, elevate with one of the more stable rosters we have in North America at the moment. We'll have to see what they've come up with, what they've come up on this map, because the rest of them just seem at times like they're, they're putting things together as they go, or they're, they're fitting a new player into the map and, and trying to figure out which roles everyone likes. So um, that'll be good to see uh, what, a, what a stable roster has done on this, uh, on this map. And it's basically going to be a stable roster versus a fairly new one. I wouldn't say that uh, the guys on Mousepads are like super new. They've been together for, I would say, what, about like one to two months now, I think that roster has been established. But again, as you said, the overpass is usually one of the, last maps that people take a look at and because of that the guys on mouse pads are going to be tested to say the least versus elevate which is looking to be yeah. a very very strong team right now they're, they're going to be tested no matter what map they pick like yeah i mean that's just uh it's just a tough road for for a team like elevate and I mean, elevate you know losing out in the tiebreaker last season but through stretch i mean luminosity and elevate through stretches of last season looked like you know luminosity to open the season up they were mythic at the time and they looked like one of the stronger teams playing very very well through the first half of the season and then elevate kind of took up the mantle in the second half and they were the ones that really started to look like one of the stronger teams in north america and just kind of dropped the ball in their last two or three matches i think they lost they lost to clg and overtime last match of the season which caused them to lose the tiebreaker for esc land so uh both of these teams uh, luminosity and elevate very very strong coming into the season yeah and don't forget too that as we approach the end of our first week we actually haven't even seen the full breadth of what north america has to offer here in the esl esca pro league first season officially of that one still have quite a few other teams to see play which includes uh, the Brazilian team, I believe, Keith Stars will be seeing them play starting next week as well. There's a lot of hype behind that team, and I don't think we've seen Highland play as of yet either, right? There hasn't been a match next of them week. this week. They start yeah, next, next week, week as long as Keith Stars. And those will be two teams that are going to be really cool with uh, Hiko and Semphis on Highland, and then and then Keith Stars, obviously the uh, the Brazilian, uh, the Brazilian badasses. Moving to North America to play here in the league, of course, with that very very big prize pool now in action. Of course, they want to fight for their piece of that, and they will definitely have their chance to do so. I feel bad for whichever team uh, has to play them on Mirage. The <laughs> teams are just bad on that map to begin with, but Keith Stars have been able to take out some amazing European, like, you know, taking out Fnatic and their reign of terror on, on Mirage, and it's going to be just a bad situation. All right, well, here we go. Once again, we've resumed things now, and immediately Luminosity is going to start off beautifully here. Lex is able to find two frags on a Jason as well as Abe here. And this reduces what Affinity has to offer down to just Davey, Ari, and Fox. And again, with all three of them split up and the bomb already being down here too, there's just not a lot for Affinity to do, unfortunately. Yeah, wonderful aggression by, by Lex. And they hadn't really done that this whole half, so it really catches Affinity off guard, especially coming out of that pause. And that's the bomb down too, so I, this is going to be tough for even, even Pitt joining in on the Davey. Lex, oh, just narrowly gets his head down in time, and Peter bails him out. So those two working together working together. Again, beautifully, and it's just up to Arya. I think Lex just spotted him out as well, and Peter's going to be in trouble. He gets stinked out. He does leg him, though. Nice quick peek. Takes down Flom, but unfortunately will finally fall there to Lex as Arya is taken out there. Luminosity Gaming, now 15-point mark. Only one more away from winning, and with that force by just coming out, too, from Affinity, they have pretty much nothing left, unfortunately, to take into the 10th and probably final round here. Yeah, Tech Nines, and this is going to have to be... They're going to have to pull some magic out here. And I would assume it's going to be a relatively fast strategy over towards... Uh, I was going to say over towards B, but apparently I'm incorrect because they're heading right towards A. But Peter's pushing up middle to the fountain to try and go for that pick. Gets into a bout with the scout of Arya. Gets blinded. He has to fall back, and he's got to make his way through the bathroom once again. But this is where him and Lex have been so effective. And they kind of just decide to bail out. Lex stays around, actually. He gets one for... I gets a second one and a third one from Lex. A great sequence from him, and that just shuts down... This final round for Luminosity. Peter, a little bit of trouble, of course, as he's going to try to peek out some aggression here, see if he can catch anyone. The boost will come out from Arya in a second, having some second thoughts of that, though, and in fact, Peter catches him through that, just that little slip there, taking down Arya. LG closes it out as Flom pops up from Connector, taking out Davey, and just like that, guys, Luminosity will take this game against their opponents, and they will have another victory on the board for themselves, bringing their record up to 3-1 now for the season. Yeah.